Here's the practical tips you need to know before planning your trip to the Maldives. First is transportation. When you land in Malay, you need to get to your resort, and that's going to be done one of three ways. Seaplane, speedboat, or domestic transfer with a speedboat. You do not get the option to choose, so if you're afraid of a seaplane, pick a resort that requires a boat transfer. Next up is room categories. You'll find rooms as little as a couple hundred dollars a night to $50,000 a night. You get what you pay for, right? Understand that if you're looking for something specific or you want to stay somewhere specifically, a lot of these luxury hotels can cost a lot of money. Yes, you can drink. Next is the iconic floating breakfast. This could go for $150 on up for this experience, but totally worth it. A lot of people are fixated on things not being all-inclusive. There are all-inclusive resorts, um, but even if you stay at a non-all-inclusive, most of them offer a buffet breakfast. I promise you will not go hungry. And lastly, yes, the water is this clear. Waking up in Maldives is just the best thing ever. Like, you have some sharks and fish swimming underneath you, and then you just walk over to the bathroom, and yeah, you have this crazy view, and look at the bathtub, and then Karen is coming out, getting ready for a floating breakfast, and look at the pool and the water, and now look at the sharks. So tell me how's it feel? Tell me how's it feel? Sitting up there. Feeling so high, but you're far away to hold me. You know I'm the one.